As the field of personalized medicine evolves, obviously the hope is that there's enough clinical data to continue convincing payers that there's true value there. Do you believe that progress is being made in this area, significant progress as we're going over time? Yeah, absolutely. I, I see it. You know, I, I look back four or five years when we started with this research initiative at Medco, and I look at it today, and not only do I look at all the research that has been produced, but I also look at how many patients actually have been served because of the research that was done, because of the programs that we've been implementing. And it's very, very significant. So today, um, I believe it's between 15 and, 15 and 20 million patients at Medco already have access to these personalized medicine programs because they signed up with us to provide that service uh, to, their, to their patient population. What we do is we broker the access, we help them, we manage the benefits for, for these genetic tests and so forth. But it is literally the payers themselves that have to buy in and literally buy in because they believe that this is for the better, for patients, better outcomes. And in some cases, quite frankly, also helps them to save money because if we can provide better drug therapy, we may save a lot on the medical side of things. So keep that in mind when you're talking about all these genetic tests and how much they cost. The idea isn't only, is certainly the predominant factor, but it's not only to save on the, on the, on the, on the drug side, but it also can reduce medical costs quite dramatically. So how much of a factor is cost? You know, you're touching on it right now. Um, is it, as you said, it's not the only factor. What are some of the other factors? So, you know, when you talk about uh, personalized medicine, when you talk about any kind of clinical intervention, you really have two key aspects in mind. One is, whatever you do, you want to make sure that it's to the benefit of the patient. And secondly, particularly if you're a payer, you also want to know how much does it cost. Can I afford this particular event, intervention? Can I afford this new technology? So what we do is we address both questions at the same time. <clears throat> it's an area that we call health economics and outcomes research, where we're asking these questions that I was describing before and say, well, so if we introduce that genetic test into clinical practice, what does it mean for a patient? What does it mean for a physician? Can a physician treat a patient better? Do patients have less adverse events? Are they responding better to certain therapies? Depends on what question, what kind of test that we're asking. But then secondly, because we are serving the payer community, they're asking us not only, well, does it work, but they also ask, what does it cost? So that's why this is the combination of both that I think is critically important to address at the same time.